Hello everyone, welcome back to Joy's Creative Ooh, Finger. Hello. This is our Let's Play The Sims Mobile episode 26. Mm -hmm. We have a new live event on, it's called the Summer Backyard Barbecue. So it's going to last six days and 22 hours for me. So I'm two hours behind, obviously. And I'm just gonna get started and we'll obviously finish off in a different episode because it does take a while to complete um, the little tasks that are given to us here and there. So I have to search in potted plants for known clues. And I have to do that 10 times. So it basically works as the hot tub event and the world of luxuries event. Um, but first we're going to click on that potted plant and I think you'd have to wait for a few minutes to click on it again. So I already have about 10 pots of plants around the house. So I'm going to fast forward to the last pot and then we'll see what the next task is. So as I say, I've now come to the last pot and we're done with that. So the quest part is completed. Um, and it now requires that I sprinkle the drink to and fro, attract things with gnome where to go. Hmm. Nice riddle. I've got to do that five times. I'm going to get onto that in a minute. So I have to tap on potted plant at the home and sprinkle this substance of some sort. <laughs> but now it says, wow, a free gift. We just got extra lemon slices for the summer barbecue event. So that's brilliant. Let's open a summer ice chest and see what's inside. Let's buy a summer ice chest. Tap the summer barbecue icon. Event icon. The summer barbecue event is here. Earn lemon slices and then buy the ice chest and then complete the collection. So again, it does work exactly as the previous events in the game. There isn't anything unique to the style of the event. Uh, but the difference is obviously we're getting new items, I would presume. <laughs> right, so here we are exactly. You can view with lemon slices or you could view with cash. Um, we have a few destinations to work at. And here are some of the items that we will win. We have the, that looks like a hot dog outfit. Yep. Yeah. I'm not really keen on that one, but I definitely would love to have the barbecue stand. That's the large grill, the vented hiking hat. We've got this beautiful ultra posh glasses. I definitely could do with a lot of fashion jams. We've got super home tickets. We've got cash to win, some odd pattern shirts, <laughs> some outfits, um, the summer chill tower, some seats, some chairs, some dining chairs, and so on. So again it's a case of hoping that you get the rare items because they're more desirable than say those of them further on towards the end of the line <laughs> so what i'm going to do at this point is i think i'm going to use up my lemon slices why not but then what i'll do later is save up and then go for it and see what i get so let's tap on this one I've got the summer lantern. Um, I don't know what size it, it comes in. And then I still have another 250 slices of lemon. Let's click on that. And we have... Come on. Oh, ultra posh glasses. That's a rare one. So that's a great start. <laughs> So you have to follow the same methods that you have done in the past with other events. I obviously need more lemon slices. So as usual, you have to send your Sims out to the different locations where they can work and earn these um, lemon slices. So we've got the home destination and the cafe. I'm going to get Icon to basically get started with the home chapter of events and experiment with summer recipes. Then we're going to get, let's see, I'm going to use Pecan. Yeah, definitely. So Pecan's going to investigate the chapter at the cafe <laughs> and sample some drinks. And then I'm going to use the fairy, which I think is quite suitable to deal with the sprinkling of the substance on the flower pots because I think it suits her, you know? 
I have been working really hard in Izzy's outfit store trying to get those wings, you know, the actual fairy wings, and I haven't succeeded at all. I mean, I saved as much as 300 and something gems because my um, party era worked the last time I hosted a party and I was able to string in a few gems, but it, it's just a lot slower. Um, it's not the same way the era used to work, you know, um, and I got 300 and something gems and I spun away and got different things and never got the wings. So I've settled for what she's got. I'm okay with that. She certainly looks like a fairy. <laughs> so yes, she is dealing with this side of things for me and I think this should be the last pot. Yes. So let's collect our reward and place a tray of drinks and wash down the summer stinks. <laughs> That's interesting. I love that it's got this whole um, riddle theme going on. So let's go find that tray of drinks, summer drink tray. Oh, item limit. No, I've got to take stuff away. So I'm just going to dash back in a second after I've done that. Um, let's see if I just take the one thing off. Yeah, I had to come back. <laughs> I took a ton of things away to get this on there. So here we are. Uh, let's set the tray down on the dining table. Let's be formal about it. You don't want to put your cups and dishes anywhere in the house and just fling them anywhere. <laughs> so it's preferable on the dining table here. And then we can collect for that part of the quest. So that would bring me to part four. I'm moving on quite nicely but as I say I'm going to save up the lemon slices so that in probably in the next episode I'll just go for it and see what I can win <laughs> right Pecan is already sampling the summer drink specials at the cafe so I don't need to go back to her she's going to carry on and we'll be back with that in the next episode when I'm completely done I will now pull out some new items from the store because every time there are these events you get new home collections that pop in and they're quite lovely some are too expensive and some are affordable so let's go in and have a look because I did spot one earlier on before I started recording and there it is it's the picturesque patio so we have the picturesque patio umbrella that you get after you've purchased everything else. Oh my goodness. I have hit an, another item limit cap. Okay, I will get rid of the dining table already set out here because of course I want to set down another one. I'm back. So what we're going to do now is set out the items and hopefully I wouldn't have any trouble with that because I have taken away a few things out of the house. This is quite an issue. So let's get started and see what happens. I'll start with the picturesque patio chair. As expected, they do come in different colors, but I find that the first option usually is preferable <laughs> in most of the items that we've got anyway. Well, I just need one of those. I don't want to overcrowd the place or anything. I will place the dining table in the location where the previous one was. That makes perfect sense by the tree. I would also love that the table could actually go underneath the tree, at least close enough in the shade, <laughs> but that won't happen. And then let's set down these chairs. They're quite lovely. I mean, look at those. I would imagine the idea is that they are made with cane, you know, it's quite lovely. And let's set down the fourth one. So there. And then we have this medium table decoration. That's lovely, 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 beautiful. And the patio slate. Wow, it's a large piece. <laughs> I'm sure I'll figure out a different location for this setup later on, but right now I'm putting it in this corner and it's okay where it is. So there, we've completed a collection. And now we can get that lovely umbrella. Hopefully it's not good. I thought it cost cash or something, so it doesn't. That's nice. They are listening to us. There are a few colors to choose from. I typically like these patio umbrellas to have the color white. It just, in my opinion, repels the heat and the sun. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, yeah, I prefer this colour. I think that's really nice. So there, look at that. Well, there's another quest completed, I think. But look at that. Yeah. So let's just collect that. Okay. This is beautiful. This is beautiful. But as I say, I don't think that you can tap on the table and share a meal with a bunch of Sims. I doubt that very much. And this seat. Let's see the other colours. Let's set it down here. Yeah, right here. Um, what colours does it come in? Oh, that's just dark. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. But I prefer the first option. I suspected I would. <laughs> so there, this is beautiful. I think it's affordable. You need a few sim tickets though. No, um, house tickets, I think it is. Right, I'm going to get Pecan to try on a few things. But first, let's go and swap her over with some of the items that we just got. Well, just the one, right? The posh glasses. That's the first thing, or the second item that I won from this event. And man, she looks good. <laughs> she really does. <laughs> nice, very nice. Yes, baby. Okay, so we will change her clothes as well and get her all nice and summery but these shades are lovely i will stick with the first option i think it's beautiful um against her so i'm going to put her in some sort of swimsuit ish i think or maybe we could just go for something a lot more summery because she's too clothed for the event that we're currently in right now that's a good one Maybe I should put her in these knickers. I don't think that's a good idea. It doesn't work very well with the top that she has on. You know, there's a couple of stripes above her left hip. And that basically clashes with the top. So I'm trying different colors to see if it would work with the top that she's got on and I'm not satisfied at all actually so I do believe we are going to change this over to say maybe a pair of jeans or shorts this is expensive 430 cash I do have that but I can't spend it all on that pair of shorts it's just not going to happen thing is I need to get the summer pack that's out at the minute so I, I can't spend it on that these pair of jeans are my favorite let's choose a preferable color mmm I like that that's nice fresh and summery let's change the color of the shoes to gold beautiful so I think she's ready for the summer event <laughs> and I will then quickly go and purchase the summer pack but I did win a lantern first before I got her sunshades didn't I let's look in the miscellaneous section oh, I have no idea where I'd find it I would think it would be here oh good good neighbor divider oh, where did that come from I really need to look through the store to see all the new things that have been injected into the game because you just find them here and there I mean look at this it goes quite nicely out here I'm not sure that's where it'll be but I'm just gonna keep it there for now while I look for that beautiful lantern that flew off before I got the sunshades well there it is there it is where does it go oh it's bigger than I thought for some reason that's nice yes white it's just fresh and clean good I have another quest completed you know I have to say it looks as though the quests are getting easier I think so it's not the way it was when we did the hot tub event in my opinion or maybe I'm just used to the way it works at the moment right let's go and purchase the summer glam pack I think it's called the stunning summer glam pack yes so we get some hairdos, some makeup, 
glasses and an outfit. It's 380 cash. I don't mind spending on it because I really like the braids. So let's dive in and see what we look like when we put them on. <laughs> Obviously, I'm going to use Pekin, who is my favorite sim of all, and Icon is her husband. Um, they are the ones that will live forever in my game. So she's already got these fabulous shades on, but I'm still going to try on everything that we've just got from the pack. This hair is nice. Hmm. It's lovely. You know, I was really confused because when I tried, when I saw the braids, um, in the pack, obviously before I had purchased it, I thought to myself, well, we already have that. And that's because of The Sims 4. I was so sure that I had it. So I went in to this section and looking for it and, and I thought to myself, they took it off and they sold it back to us. It's just so confusing, you know? <laughs> but no, we, we definitely don't have this in the game and it's absolutely gorgeous on her. I'm tempted to keep her with this style, but the thing is, she's looking as though she's got this massive forehead. I don't know that this hairstyle is good for her, oh, but she's certainly rocking that look. I can't choose between the top colour and the second colour. Um, Alright, you know, I'm not going to waste as much time in this section as I would like to. <laughs> I want to try on the outfit and then the glasses. I won't bother so much with the makeup. I'm sure it looks lovely and I'll probably take my time and, and do that. But at the moment I'm looking for the outfit that came with this pack. It's it's one piece, isn't it? So I have no idea why I'm looking for it in strange places. So there it is. Okay, let's go through some of the colors. I think that's cute. It's lovely. It's from The Sims 4 and it's a lovely piece and it does work well for summer. It doesn't work well for my Sim Pekin. Her head has suddenly become huge and her forehead has just increased in size with the hairstyle that she's got on but the thing is i wanted to see what it looked like in the first place and i think it's a beautiful outfit just not for her for a different sim yes i want to try on the glasses as well that's lovely they're quite similar in a way in terms of the shade color but i will stick with the original one so i'll just exit and that way the changes won't be saved well, I'm going to leave you here at this point and I'll work as hard as I can to see if I can get this barbecue grill. I'd love to see what the actions look like and so on. So thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon. Bye.